All right, so, so this video is going to help you on the ATM. Okay, how to solve the problem with the ATM? I want to create the ATM project. So now, review the questions. Create a class named ATM Extends Jet Frame. So I'm going to do that first. So create a new class. Right click new class and name ATM right and it's the extends so pretty much you just do extends J frame to create a frame for that so I'm going to type extends J frame alright so we need to import J frame <coughs> alright so we get the ATM extends J frame according to directions so the second bullet create user interface using J panel, J buttons, J password field. Okay, so J panel, we want to create J panel because J panel help you to organize right all the buttons and display panel. Okay, all together. All right, so we need to pretty much just say private right J panel because we need to create J panel. I'm gonna name I'm gonna have I'm gonna create two panels. The top panel I'm called display panel. Okay, just like in let me show you an example of calculators. This is I can make a panel for display, I can make a panel for buttons, right? But if you literally look at this this guy on the Windows one, they only have one panel like there. See that and they use grid to do the spacings. Okay. And they have the menus on the top. And for now we we're gonna show you differently. Just the top one display panel. And then I need another panel which is what uh the key, right? The pin pad panel. <coughs> and of course you need to import the panel. And then we need a button, so I'm going to create J button. And these are the an array of buttons because you're going to need a lot of buttons, right? Number zero two, right? And so on zero to nine. So I'm going to name number button buttons. All right, so. <coughs> And I need uh, the display itself should be. It say uh, you can either use password, right? It asks you to do J password field. So I'm gonna say password. Okay, field. Now we need to do the creating, right? Creating this whole thing inside the constructor. We might just create all the GUI, right? So in order to use this, is just reviewing to use GUI again. We need to instantiate each object here because this is just like a an instant variables. So we need to create objects of those. So. So we need to pretty much just call each of them and do new J panel. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to set the color on this too, then you can see to distinct the panels. Set background color, right? Background, then put the color. So let's put some some color. Okay, so that's for display, and this is for pin pad panel. It goes to new J panel. <coughs> Set background is yes, to now. <coughs> I need to create the buttons. I can use loop to help because there are many of them for int 
i equals to zero start from pin number zero i less than equals nine we're going to include pin pad nine right then we gotta do i plus plus so this is creating the buttons right so creating uh, 0 to 9 buttons so we gonna have to do J button I call number buttons and this is an array so first I need to give the size of my array so equals to J button when you use an array you need to specify the size 10 buttons 0 to 9 right uh, new so this is just create array size, but this is when you instantiate an object of each array. New J button and start to put it's gonna be value of because we gonna put the pin number zero to nine by depending on I which is an integer, we need to convert that back to the string. And this should be an array, so put the I in here. Okay. <coughs> For each buttons. So I generate ten buttons so far. Now need to do the password field. So so password field equals to new right J password field. This is just create an object of password field. And actually this is a good point at this point. So at this point you might want to think about do you want to limit the users? Like if you look at this play like this, you didn't limit the user. User can have as many as user punch in up to the size, you see? Now that's the limit. We can do that too. We can say okay ATM only four pins I can limit the input to just four. Okay. And so for now we we don't want to worry about that, okay, to simplify the process. So you could do the limit but it's not required. It. So we not worry about that. So we get the password field done and then after that we need to add them okay onto the frame. First, we gonna add the buttons to the panel first, and set the layout to the panel. So our pin pad panel need a layout, and the type of layout for pin pad should be set grid, right? I think set layout to grid layout. That should be a bit the best option for pin pad. Alright, so we have the grid layout. Now we can do pin pad panel dot add. So we we can add them. So we add to the pin pad. Now we should have that. So we're going to have the layout for the display panel. So let's set the layout to we can use border layout. And the reason because we gotta do the top right to north, border is like north, east, west, south and center. So this border layout, we can make the display go to the north, pin pad to the center. Okay, so display pretty much your password field here. We can add 
So we gotta say this play. Mm. Actually, the border layout. I mean, it should go into your frame itself. So let me set layout to the frame, which is the new border layout. Okay. We can do either way anyway. Let me know. By default, JFrame has the border layout. I'm not going to worry about set layout. Today. I'm going to leave it as what I just did then. So, this play panel has the border layout. We start to add the password field to the north, just like what I, I plan to do. You can do it the other way that I tried to do with the JFrame, but you don't have to. There are many ways to do this. So now I put password field on to the north, so then I need to say border layout dot north. Okay, so I pretty much just try to put them all into the same panel. If I do this way, like I'm gonna put a pin pad into the display panel. So pin pad panel on the and then gonna do the border layout to center so we have north and center now so now this play layout itself can be added to the frame so I'm going to add this play panel to the frame alright so we have buttons with this play now we just need to do some simple thing about share frame right set visible to true right Otherwise, you're not going to see it. JFrame has to show, right? You can do pack. Pack just like, like normally you can set dimension, width, and height. Pack is just wrap around to the components. Um, on the close operations, right? Set default close operations. Set default close operations. Right, JFrame makes it unclosed. Okay, so now we going to run this ATM. I'm going to create new class as a driver class that pretty much just with the main that instantiate this. Okay, so it's going to call new. ATM that you just created. Then I can test running this. So let me run it. Hmm. Because I have grid layout, but I never set right. I never set the row and columns. That's why by default it's going to be. Zero, uh, one rows and whatever columns, like in this case, 10 columns. I can also use grid layout to say I want to do 3 by 3. Uh, no, 4 rows better because we have 10 buttons. So let's rerun this. There you go. So we have the pin pad that we made ready to do the ATM. So I'm going to ha have a clear and a enter button here, okay? We need to create two more buttons for enter and clear. So I'm going to create two more buttons. So I need to declare buttons, which is J button. Enter button, clear button, right? So now we pretty much just need to create them and add them. So I'm going to create right here. Enter button equals to new J button. All right. So enter. We have the symbols for that, which is U. Uh, U what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two one 